been a few days, I know. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a hectic time. I've been moving out and um, last week was quite a lot going on, but um, I am still here. Um, I'm just gonna kind of give a little recap of the whole contest as a whole, the double elimination, and how it went for me. Um, as you can see, it's so, so windy today. The windiest day of the trip so far I was on 3-0. Um, yeah, it was completely ridiculous. I forgot how it was here. Um, there was literally just the spray from the wave hitting your face was hurting you. It was just like everything was trying to kill you out there. Um, but I survived. Um, but yeah, back to back to the comp anyway. Um, yeah, an amazing, I think nine or ten days um, for the, all the guys working and actually the competitors as well. Really long week. Um, they got so much done, which was really cool. Um, and I have to say, I never thought I'd say this, but the highlight for me was probably the slalom. Um, yeah. Um, I have tried to watch slalom um, windsurfing before, and I do, or I have, got quite bored of it quite quickly. Um, and this is the first time, I think, ever that I was actually quite invested in the racing. Um, especially the sausage. I'm one of the guys, I would love to see uh, an obstacle on every run. I think, I think it would just be so cool. But just doing the slalom here on its own was really sick to watch. Um, they had one of the marks um, just sort of right near the beach around there in El Viento, uh, by the cafe um, El Viento. So you could sit and watch the, watch the carnage unfold. Um, and all the waves getting involved um, and knocking people off, I thought it was just really fun. Um, so, kind of, so yeah, big positive, and I'm actually kind of excited uh, to kind of follow that side of the tour this year. Hopefully, they get some windy conditions to do it. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed the slalom. In terms of the wave stuff, um, yeah, the waves are amazing. I think the double elimination, it was, a, it was a little bit anticlimactic, I have to say, um, because of that new format. They were going all the way. Um, I think the last heat was the Victor, Brasinho, Miguel and Moritz. Um, and it was such a good heat to watch and then I just wanted more and I think everyone just wanted more. But obviously that format, they just cut it off at that line and there was nothing more. So. Um, slightly annoying. Um, don't think I talk to anyone who's kind of happy with it. Um, obviously, the whole idea is the pro single. I'm not against it. I think the idea with the double was there was so much stuff going on. Um, they just wanted a system that um, meant they could finish earlier, which I think it's fair. But also at the same time, when you think of a normal double, if you do run out of time each round of the double counts. So they could have easily um, just done a normal double and okay, if there isn't enough time, they have to stop it. Um, but yeah, it was a bit strange they had to stop it. And I think from all the fuss going around it, I don't know if it will happen again. Or at least I think what will happen, the organizers and, and judges at each event will give various systems to the riders and then they can decide, which I think is the best way going forward. Depending on location, you can have a single, double, a dingle, or whatever new formats they come up with. So that was a shame. Um, and, but yeah, the, the, the single elimination was amazing. Guys were going off. Um, yeah, I did call it the new generation at the top. Marino and Julian, so flipping amazing to see that. And But yeah, um, in terms of my heat, oh God, I did just watch it now again. Uh, a bit depressing. <laughs> no, it, wasn't too, it wasn't actually too bad. But I was actually a little bit moody on the day um, just because oh, I would have liked to have made a heat here. Um, it would have been nice. I felt like I didn't give all that I could give. Um, I couldn't find the waves and the height on the jumps. Um, and my waves were just not on it, really. So, 
it's disappointing, but um, shit happens, and uh, I guess there's there's lots to learn from it. You learn more from losing than winning. So there you go. Actually, during my heat, it got so so windy. Um, I was on three four, and I went out for my first run, and I was just like, "What is going on?" The wind just picked up on another level out of nowhere. Um, Mike Friedel. Um, one of the local guys here, he went down and, and got his 3.1 out, and he's not a small guy either. So um, I was I was thinking about getting a 3.0, but at the same time I thought I'll just um, man up and hang on and, um, and try to fight it. Um, maybe maybe it was a bad decision in the end because um, yeah, it was was struggling a little bit. Maybe with a smaller sail, I could have been more comfortable and go higher and ride better um, and then it was that low tide was just so hard to find the waves I was out there just like completely lost I was like trying to look around where the waves were so it was disappointing in that sense things went against me a bit and um, yeah there's definitely uh, things to, to work on now I, I'm gonna kind of stay here for another couple weeks at least um, and work on things um, doubles potentially I actually did try some doubles before the contest um, so I did get them out of the way so maybe I'll try a few more but there's definitely some sort of higher priorities that I want to work on uh, going forwards and then I'm actually pretty excited for the event in Tenerife that is looking like it's all gone ahead and it's gonna be a four-star event um, in August so I'll be heading over there after this and that's somewhere that um, yeah, I've got like, I'm confident, confident for because I've been there quite a while. I know the wave. It suits me more the wave stuff than the jumping. So um, I'm really looking forward to that event. But for now, sticking around here, and I will hopefully be trying to bring a few things from here, um, updating you. But anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a bit of a ramble again, just me talking. But uh, thanks for all the support. It's been great and uh, see you soon.